everybody. This is Paul Wing. <laughs> yes, and Little Nipper. Come to tell you the story of Little Black Sambo's Jungle Band. Now, you can follow along in your storybook, and every time Nipper barks... <laughs> like that, it's time to turn the page and look at more pictures or go on reading the story. Now, are you all ready? Then here we go. Early one morning, way off in India, in the middle of the deep jungle, a little boy got out of his bed. Just the way you get out of your bed early each morning. This little Indian boy's name was Little Black Sambo. Right after he had his breakfast, Little Black Sambo put on his beautiful little red coat and his beautiful little blue trousers and his lovely little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. Then he took his beautiful green umbrella, which opened up big and started out for a walk. <laughs> Did you turn the page? Well, very soon he found himself in the middle of the jungle. And that made him pretty scared. Because he knew he was lost. Then suddenly he heard a strange sound. Quickly he turned around, and there, from amongst the branches high above him, he saw two very bright eyes staring down at him. While he shivered with fright, out from behind the trees there walked an elephant of the very largest size, carrying a big bass horn. Now, an elephant may be scary, but an elephant with a bass horn is funny. So little black Sambo began to laugh. And the elephant began to smile. And little black Sambo said, where are you going with that big bass horn? And the elephant said, I don't know. Where are you going with that beautiful green umbrella? And little black Sambo said, I don't know. And the elephant said, well then, since we're both going to the same place, let's go together. So they started to walk through the jungle. But before they had gone very far, they heard another strange sound. And out from behind the trees came a big brown bear carrying a big shiny saxophone. How would you like to hear me play a piece on my saxophone, said the big brown bear. And little black Sambo said, very much. And the elephant said, oh, very well. So the big brown bear sat down on his haunches and held his saxophone in his front paws and said, listen. There, said the bear. What do you think of that? Little black Sambo said, it was nice. But the elephant just said, huh. Now the bear got very angry at that and said, what do you mean, huh? And the elephant said, well, if you come with me, I'll show you what I mean. Huh? So little black Sambo and the big brown bear followed the elephant off through the jungle. <laughs> Before they had gone very far, they came to a place where there weren't many trees. So the elephant had plenty of room. He sat down on his haunches. He puffed out his cheeks and he blew through his trunk because that was where he carried the air and... There, said the elephant. What do you think of that? Little black Sambo said it was nice, but the big brown bear said... Nyeh. Well, the elephant and the bear got into a terrible argument and they both began to play their pieces at the same time. Little Black Sambo covered his ears and cried, Please stop! Won't you please, please stop? And they did stop. And Little Black Sambo said, Your playing is nice, but listening to two such different pieces at the same time made my ears dizzy. The elephant said, Oh, and so did the bear. And then all three of them started walking on through the jungle. But before they had gone very far, out of the jungle came a musical monkey with a perfectly peachy piccolo. Of course, Little Black Sambo quickly invited him to come along, and off they all started again. But before they had gone very far, they heard... 
And up walked a terribly tawny tiger carrying a big bass drum. And right at the same time, they heard a chattering chimpanzee with a beautiful banjo. And then along came a big baboon with a big bassoon. And a medium-sized black bear with a medium-sized saxophone. And a very small honey bear with a very small saxophone. And a long green snake playing his scales as he wriggled through the grass. And they all joined little black Sambo as he walked on through the jungle. <laughs> as they walked and shuffled and wriggled and trotted and scurried and scampered along, they sounded like this. Little black Sambo. The elephant with his big bass horn. The big brown bear with his big shiny saxophone. The musical monkey with his perfectly peachy piccolo. The terribly tawny tiger with his big bass drum. The chattering chimpanzee with his beautiful banjo. The big baboon with his big bassoon. The medium-sized black bear with his medium-sized saxophone. The very small honey bear with his very small saxophone. And the long green snake playing his scales. As they walked along, little black Sambo was thinking and thinking because he could always think best when he was walking. Suddenly he said, oh, animals, animals, please stop. So they all stopped. And little black Sambo said, I think I have an idea. Then he started walking again. Faster and faster, leading the animals farther into the jungle, around a bend and up a hill. Well, when they all reached a big clearing on top of the hill, they stopped. And the elephant said, Now, little black Sambo, what is your idea? And little black Sambo said, When you and the big brown bear were playing your different pieces at the same time, it was uh, nice, but it made my ears dizzy. But I think if all of you animals play the same piece at the same time, it will be even nicer, and it won't make my ears dizzy. That is an idea, said the elephant. But what shall we play? Little Black Sambo said, if you don't mind, play Mary Had a Little Lamb. So all the animals sat down in a big circle. And began to play. But Little Black Sambo cried, please, please animals, please stop. The elephant said, that certainly didn't sound like an idea. At that, little black Sambo began walking around because he could always think best when he was walking. <laughs> Suddenly, little black Sambo stopped and said, I think I know what was the matter. I think it would sound more like an idea if you would all play in the same key. The elephant said, Well, 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 perhaps it would. But what key shall we play in? <laughs> And Little Black Sambo said, since it's the elephant's piece, I think you should all play in the elephant's key. So then the elephant sounded his key. And all the other animals sounded it too. And they all started to play again. Little Black Sambo shouted, please, animals, please, please stop. And they did stop. And the elephant said, it still didn't sound like an idea. Well, Little Black Sambo started walking again, and thinking again, because he could always think best when he was walking. <laughs> and then suddenly he stopped and said, I think it would sound more like an idea if everybody played in the same time. The elephant said, Well, perhaps it would, but what time shall we play in? <laughs> Little Black Sambo said, I think you should all play in the elephant's time. Then the other animals said, Well, but we're all making so much noise that we can't hear the elephant's time. Then the elephant said, We need a leader. And since Little Black Sambo has a beautiful green umbrella to beat time with, he shall be the leader. So Little Black Sambo climbed up on a stump in the middle of the animals. He waved his beautiful green umbrella and said, One, Two, one, two. Well, that was an idea, said the elephant. 
And all the other animals agreed that it was an idea. And right then, little black Sambo started walking and thinking again, because he could always think best when he was walking. <laughs> then suddenly, little black Sambo stopped and said, now I think I have another idea. Of course, his first idea had been so good that the animals wanted to know what his other idea was. So he said, I think we ought to play the big brown bear's piece and the monkey's piece and everybody else's piece. That is an idea, said the elephant. And the other animals thought it was an idea too. So little black Sambo held up his beautiful green umbrella. And the animals all puckered up their lips and puffed out their cheeks and wrinkled up their noses. And little black Sambo said, one, two, one, two. That was the big brown bear's piece. And then little black Sambo held up his beautiful green umbrella and said, one, two, one, two. And that was the musical monkey's piece. And while the musical monkey played, the big baboon did a dance with his big bassoon. <laughs> Next came the baboon's piece. Little black Sambo held up his beautiful green umbrella and said, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> And at last, when everybody else's piece had been played, came the little honey bear's piece. One, two, one, two. And when they had finished playing, the elephant picked up little black Sambo with his trunk and lifted him and sat him way up on top of his head and then began walking through the jungle while all the animals followed, playing on their instruments. And if you'll go into the jungle right now, you'll see little black Sambo on top of the elephant, dressed in his beautiful red coat and his beautiful little blue trousers and his lovely little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings waving his beautiful green umbrella and beating time while all the animals play on and on thank you nipper